Okay, so in this question, I'm asked to convert the measurement 183 milligrams into the SI units without the prefix. So let's quickly just go and remind us of our, that little uh, saying we had that King Henry doesn't usually is my unit. Drink chocolate milk. And now you can see that I wrote the first three in capital letters, the last three in lowercase letters, and that's simply because um, these are the big units, kilo, hectare, deca, and then the uh, small units, deci, centi, and milli. Okay, so we want to go from milligrams, so milli, into our unit, which this time it's grams. So we're going to move it one, two, three spaces to the right or another way of looking at it is dividing with 10 to the power of 3 dividing with 10 3 times okay so when it comes down to business we have 183,81 okay that's milligrams that if we convert it, we take 183,81 and instead of just multiplying or dividing with 10, I'm going to multiply with 10 to the power of negative 3. Okay, now another way of looking at it is simply that that negative exponent just tells me my, my comma is moving to the right, left, three spaces. So this becomes 0, 0,183,81. sorry that's milligrams I'm working with grams grams okay that's how much grams I will have so let's just input that answer zero point okay remember the South African system uses commas for decimal indicator while when we work on computers which is international we use point okay so zero point one eight three eighty one and there it's already got the unit, so I don't need to put the unit in as well. Well done, let's look at another example. In this example, we're asked to convert 981.99 kilograms into the um, SI unit without the prefix. In other words, just into grams. So this time we are going from kilo to also grams. So we go one to three units to the left sorry to the right okay uh, which means we are going to multiply with 10 to the power of 3 so having 981,99 kilograms that is the same as taking 981,99 times 10 to the power of 3. In other words, 10 3 times because I move it to um, hectare, deca, and then back to the um, unit. And now I'm simply working in grams. So this is a total of the comma can move three places to the one, two, to the right. Okay, 981,990 grams almost a million grams that is what almost a thousand kilograms would be okay that's it um hope you get it